Hello, once again, my name is Hashim Jagachaye, teacher of biology, and this is Biology Practical TV. So let us go direct to the question. The question is asking us, you are provided with a specimen that you careful, observe it, and then answer the question that falls. And this is a specimen that, as you see in the picture below. Now, the first question is asking us, write the common names of specimen Z. Uh, the second question, name the kingdom and phylum in which specimen Z belong. Uh, the third question is asking us it, what is habitat of the specimen Z. And also explain how specimen Z adapt to its habitat. Now, let us uh, start with the first question which is asking us to write the common name of specimen Z. So the common name of specimen Z is cactus, a cactus. I think you see the picture below, the way it looks like this is a cactus plant. So the second equation is asking us, name the kingdom and the phylum in which specimen Z belong. So specimen Z, which is a cactus, belong to uh, kingdom plantae and division of phylum angiospermophyta. It belongs to kingdom plantae and phylum angiospermophyta. The third question is asking us what is the habitat of specimen Z? So the habitat of specimen Z, which is cactus, is in a dry environment, a desert and a semi-desert. These are in brackets. A desert or a semi-desert. Uh, and uh, another question is asking to explain how specimen Z adapted to its habitat. It means what are the adaptation of spe specimen Z to its habitat. So the following are the adaptation of the cactus plant. Uh, the first adaptation that has extensive root system for water absorption and also uh, has thorn which discourage herbivores from feeding on its their succulent parts and also has reduced the leaves to cut down water loss as you see and also have flesh stem to store water and also has a few numbers of stomata to minimize transpiration. As you see, as you, as you know that uh, always plant lose water through stomata. Eh? And that process is called transpiration. So this one, it, it has, it, it, it minimize the number of stom very few number of stomata it has. So this also makes it to minimize the transpiration. But the last point is that it uh, has thick and waterproof cuticle to minimize evaporation. Also, as you see, uh, it, the leaves is also used for evaporation of water in plant. But this one has a thick and waterproof cuticle, which minimizes evaporation. Thank you. See you next time. Remember to share to like and to subscribe so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you and bye.